Let's talk about unit testing. This is a super simple increment and decrement app and we will start the testing phase with this application because it will be super simple to explain. Next, we will go inside the widget test and we will remove everything that is inside the main. Next thing we want to do is to create another file called the unit test.dart. When you are testing your Flutter app, you need to finish the end of the file by test. This will tell Flutter that this is a test file. To test your application, you will need to start by importing the flutter test.dart. Then I will also import the counter file. Okay, but how do we test an application? First, you need to start with the void main. Inside, you will say test, and you will have two things inside. One is the name of the test, and the other is what you want to test. So in this one, we'll test if the increment counter works fine. So you can see that when I press the button, this go from zero to one and we want to confirm that everything is working fine. You will see this is a super simple example. We want to do three things inside the test. We want to set up the data, we want to do something, and then we want to test if everything has worked fine. The first thing will be to set up a counter variable. So we will say counter is equal to counter. And inside you can see that I can give a value. So I will say the counter is equal to five when we start. Then we want to do something. So we'll say counter, dot increment counter. So this means the value should be six now. We will test this, we will say expect, and this is how it works. You always set up, you do, and then you use the expect to test if it works fine. So now the counter dot value should be equal to six. The left side is the actual value and the right side is what it should be. So we know that it should be six right now. So let's test the application. We will go inside testing and then you will press this button, debug test, and we will see if it worked fine. And we have a green check mark. This means the test has been successful. And you can see that we have the other tests that have nothing. And this is because it's the widget test.dart that we have uncommon earlier. Okay, so this is the basics of unit testing. Now let's say that we give the value at one when we start, we increment the counter, and then we test, we expect the value to be equal six. So this is obviously not the case. So let's run the test once again, and this time it should fail. Here we go, we have a problem. Expected six, but actual two. So we can see the difference and it's not working. So I will press play and the code will stop pretty much everywhere. So what I will do is I will go inside debug and run and I will uncheck the uncut exception. So this will not stop the code every time. I will go back inside testing and then you will see that the test has failed. I will click on this little file to go back in the test. Okay, so the test has failed and we have a message error. Expected six and actual two. I will rerun the test with the good value just to see the green check mark. Now I have a little challenge for you. You don't have to code, but you just have to think about it. You can see that I have created another test. This one is called the testing the decrement counter. I will set up the counter as the value 10. But your challenge right now is to know what to put inside the do and what to put inside the test. You can pause the video to try to do it by yourself for the decrement counter. Otherwise, let's do it right now. The do should be the counter, the decrement counter, because we want to test the decrement counter. And the test should be, we expect that the counter that value is now equal to nine. And if we test the application, this should work on both tests. Before we move on widget testing, I want to show you one last thing. If you want, you can group test together. So right now we are testing the counters. We could group this inside testing the counter. So I will cut everything. The group work the same. We have the name of the group and we have what we should do inside. So inside the group, I will add both test and I will call this one testing the counter. Now we can test again and we see that we have the group testing the counter. Inside we have to test and everything works successfully. See you in the next one. Bye.